guys welcome back to my sister's youtube channel today she's going to show you how to make the tummy trimmer and the thigh trimmer please don't forget to subscribe and share this video thank you so i'm going to show you how to make this tummy and thigh trimmer just in case you can't buy it just in case you can't afford it so you can make it at home yourself and then it has this rubber inside that makes you sweat when you put it on when you're working out or when you're just chilling i'll put an amazon link for this product in the description box down below just in case you're interested you can also get it from alibaba or aliexpress i know some celebrities who sell this product at very very high prices so guys just make yours at home Home. so what it does it reduces the size of your tummy by like it makes you sweat and the more you sweat the more your tummy inches reduces so when it comes to my thighs i wouldn't want to reduce the size of my thighs guys i love big thighs so i wouldn't want to reduce it but just i love how comfortable it is and then it lifts your butt as well so like it makes you sweat around your tummy your thighs and then lifts your butt i wore it on my previous uh, workout video and i really loved how it made me sweat so guys there's a previous video i shared with you on how to make a sweat belt this is the sweat belt that i made so it really works the same as this uh, tummy trimmer that uh, i bought so you can just like make this tummy trimmer as well at home and you still work the same way as the tummy trimmer that i bought so in today's tutorial is just going to be the same same diy but now for the thighs because i just use the same same product so the first thing you're going to need is a leather leather fabric because that is going to make you sweat now it's going to act like the rubber the rubber that they use to make the tummy trimmer you also need an elastic band i'll put other uh, details for all this product that i'm going to use today in the description box down below Below. you also need velcro just to make it secure so guys i'll put all the details in the description box down below just in case you're interested but you can also get this from any textile shop so the first step is to measure the size of your thighs i prefer using the band itself to measure the size of your thighs instead of using a tape because when you do this you'll get the exact measurement and also it will help you to know how comfortable it's going to be because you don't want it to be too tight or too small so this width is too small for my thighs i need like a bigger one so i'm going to cut another piece and then sew them together so if you have bigger thighs you need like three three pieces sew them together because even for the tummy trim i realized they don't have like bigger sizes especially if you have big thighs you might not get your size so you can just make it like cut like three or four pieces if you have bigger thighs and then sew them together i've already sewn them you can unsew them or you can use a machine but just make sure the stitches are tight because you know you're going to pull it it's elastic you're going to pull it and stretch it so just make sure the stitches are tight of course you need two for the two ties so the next step is to sew the leather fabric on the elastic band you can get this leather fabric from a uh, drying canvas shop and then also I'll leave an amazon link for you on where you can get this uh, leather fabric for the leather fabric i decided to measure my thighs because it's not stretchy and my thighs is 25 inches so i cut 25 by 7 and then i'm going to sew it on the elastic band So as you can see i've already sewn the leather fabric on the band and then i decided to just sew on the sides because i didn't want to sew in the middle i felt like it's going to be too much work or i might sew the leather on the band and then it reduces the size of the band and that's what i didn't want so i just sew on the sides and then i went ahead and sewed the velcro as well so you can sew two velcros or one whichever you want but then i prefer two because i can adjust it if i feel like it's too tight i can just like adjust it And just like that and you have your thigh trimmer so guys you can wear it like this like on top of your outfit or on top of your leggings or you can just wear it like attached on your skin whichever that you prefer you still sweat and then also it lifts your butt just the same way as the tummy and thigh trimmer So this is a sweat belt that I made on my previous video and it's going to act as my tummy trimmer. 
so guys just like that and you have your thigh and tummy trimmer if you can't make it or if you feel like it's like a long process making it you can as well just buy it but then the fabrics like the, the material that i've used like in some countries are very very cheap like here the fabric the leather fabric is like two dollars the one that i've used i've used like it's two dollars that is 250 shillings and then the bun you can actually buy whichever size that you want if you want one meter you can buy one meter two meters they can cut for you the size that you want so if you can't buy it if you can't make it you can buy it and then if you can't buy it you can make it yourself and actually this tummy trimmer that i've made works the same as the tummy trimmer that i bought like they both make you sweat So another thing if you have like a corset and you don't want to make like this the one that i've shown you how to make today you can take the leather fabric and sew it on your corset or on your waist trainer and it will make you sweat So that was it for today guys thank you for watching and please 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 don't forget to subscribe and share the video bye bye the thigh trimmer so thank you for clicking the subscribe button <laughs>